Hello there, Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. Today with you with another solo drill of Achille Marozzo to learn his two-handed sword, Spada a due mani. This time it's the fourth part of his Primo Assalto. And seriously, Marozzo, if you can hear this, you should have gotten an editor. This part especially really is a mess language-wise. But no problem, we'll go through it bit by bit so you can make the most out of it. We start in Porta di Ferro Alta. So with the sword on our inside and the hands about sternum high and the blade point at your opponent. From here, this part speaks about the tramazzoncello, which is nothing else than a small tramazzona. Tramazzona is a wheeling cut that you can perform on your inside or outside, on the right side, so a dritto tramazzona, or a reverso tramazzona, which you can also perform on your in or outside. And the tramazzoncello is nothing else than a small tramazzona. So, suppose your opponent is in Porta di Ferro Alta as well and this blade is on your inside, you now perform this small tramazzoncello and step to your left. Okay, so this could be a blow to the hands and from here you immediately go into a punta infalzata to the left, his or her left, um, his or her left hat and from there you perform a mandrito tondo. So Marazzo doesn't specify a specific footwork, but after that he says you tiri e entri, you race and enter into guardia entrare in lago pasto, so with the left leg in front at the end. So let's suppose that from here you perform another step with your right to make this action even more successful. So once again, you strike to the hands, small tramazzona, tramazzoncello, punta infalzata over the blade, from there mandrito tondo, and then enter, tiri e entri, raise and enter into guardia d'entrare. From here, you keep the initiative and thrust a punta incrossata, so with the crossed hands, again to the same side of the head. This is much like a German Dupleon, you could imagine. And from here, you again perform a mandrito, a mezzo mandrito, that doesn't pass porte ferro larga. You go back and cover into guardi di faccia. You step around, this should uh, feel pretty familiar to you now. You step around with the reverso to the head. You cover in guardi di croce and you exit with the falso dritto. Okay, so the important part is the first one, the tramazzoncello, and then the keeping of the initiative in guardia d'entrare. So, tramazzoncello, punta infalzata, mandrito tondo, enter into guardia d'entrare, thrust around, again mandrito, cover, go around, get back, and get out. Okay, one more from the side. Tramazzoncello, punta infalzata, mandrito tondo. From here, step in, keep the initiative. Again, punta incrossata, mandrito, get back, go around, step back, and get out. Okay, and now, how you could apply this with the partner? Well, I wouldn't say you could find this drill in its whole in a sparring session at all, because it's way too long, way too many actions, but you can surely perform uh, uh, certain parts of these actions. So, let's see it with the partner.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the solo drill. If you would like to support us, please like and share this video with your friends. Also, you can support us on Buy Me A Coffee or you can visit our fan shop. Until next time, ciao!